Good morning. It's day 21, believe it or not. Woohoo! It's Wednesday, July. Uh, I forgot. July 7th already. Um, had a good night's sleep. Really peaceful uh, spot. If you can look behind me here, I had that meadow out there, and then I was in those trees right behind me. It was really nice. Slept well. Uh, didn't get too cold. I didn't have to put my fleece on or anything like that. Um, today, I think I have about a 16, 17 mile day. I want to think it's called Stewart or Saltworth, something like that, Creek, which will put me just a couple miles shy, maybe two miles shy, I think, of the saddle going up to San Luis. So if I want to do that tomorrow, I can do that tomorrow. And tomorrow should be able to get to the trailhead for Creed. Now, getting into Creed might be a little difficult. Hopefully there's some people climbing uh, San Luis Peak that can get me in there. But it's 6.30. I am on the trail, heading out. Beautiful day, a little crisp uh, this morning. Most of the day is going to be uphill, so that should be interesting. Here goes nothing. Looks like I'm gonna have a little more of this road slash two track walking this morning, but I should get off of it here in a couple miles, if even that far, so that'll be nice. Back on trails. All right, I made it to Cochapetta Creek or something like that. First place I'm gonna have to get wet. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna suck it up and walk across with my shoes on, because I got tender feet. Ugh. All right, so I walked across and surprisingly felt really good, but hopefully my wet feet aren't gonna come back and haunt me later with blisters, but we'll see. All right, I'm just heading up from that creek down there, Copacheta or something like that. Uh, ran into another through hike in America I ran into yesterday. We sat down there, had some snacks, chatted a little bit, and uh, now starts the climbing portion of today. 11 miles, 1,800 feet roughly, so it should be spread out, shouldn't be too bad, but it is up most of the way, I think. So let's see how this goes. Still working my way up this drainage. Been a real nice trail so far. A little rocky right here, but not too steep yet. Coming out of the Lagarita, and all of a sudden, look at this. There's a trailhead. Surprise, surprise. Break time. I'm oh, 100 yards, 200 yards up uh, the road from the Edisonville Trailhead. Um, I stopped right down below me at Stewart Creek, filled up some water. Uh, I'm gonna try to take 40 minutes off here, uh, let my feet rest, let them try to air out my shoes and my socks since I got wet this morning, and uh, but then we'll head on. I think that last stretch was probably my favorite stretch so far. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not sure how many miles I have left. I haven't looked yet. Don't really want to. Um, but it's lunchtime, so I'm going to focus on that. Talk to you all in a bit. All right, it's about 1 o'clock. Just an hour off for a break. Got my shoes a little dry. Got a bunch of food in me. And now I'm heading off. I think it's about seven and a half miles to where I'm planning on camping tonight. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Just got the living Jesus is scared out of me. Mama here has two babies. They squealed and went away and she, uh, gotta, gotta get out of here before she gets mad. I just talked to a couple and they said, nothing steep until I get up ready to go to the saddle. It's just a general, gentle incline for the next seven miles or so. <sighs> Taking my afternoon break, it feels so good. I'm, oh, two point something miles, I think. 2.6 miles to where I'm camping tonight, so 
not too far. I should be able to get there another hour and a half, two hours, probably another two hours, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying my break. I'm being attacked by mosquitoes, but I can live with that because I'm so comfortable. I think I've been looking at the wrong passes all day. I think this one straight in front of me now is the saddle we're going to, and then there's San Luis up there. I've been looking back, not at that guy, which looks pretty cool, but at that guy there. So, hmm, I guess I'm looking at the wrong ones. All right, I made it to where I was planning on camping. Uh, just before five o'clock, tired. Um, as I look up, I can see the pass, and there's a little ledge up there. I'm half tempted to go up to that ledge, but I don't know. It looks like it's willows all the way, so there might not be any camping up there, which would kind of sink. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna relax here for a little bit, though. I really have to stop talking to people at the end of the day. I was at that decent camp spot, resting, relaxing, and went to get some water and was talking to the lady there, and she was talking about going up to the pass. I was talking for a little while, and that got me thinking. It didn't look that far away. So guess what? Yep, I'm headed towards pass. It took off about 5.30. I'm guessing I should get up there about 7. It's uh, 2.3 miles and about 700 plus feet. All right, there must have been some magic in these legs today. I made it up to the pass here in an hour, 2.3 miles, what the heck? Um, it wasn't really too bad, there were a few steep sections, but overall not bad, amazing. Now I just gotta figure out um, where I'm gonna set up. There's uh, plenty of spots I'm even thinking about maybe going down just a little bit below the pass. I'm not sure, we'll see. It's all good. Looking back down, kind of how I came up today. You can see the drainage that I worked up. Give you a 360 view. There's San Luis up there. I'm halfway tomorrow. Pretty spectacular. Good morning from day 22. It's July 8th. I'm at the saddle below San Luis Peak. It's about five o'clock and I'm getting ready to head up to the peak. Here we go. Whew, this is going good. Getting some of the sun's first rays striking me here. Pretty cool. It is 6.25 a.m. on July 8th, and I made it to the top of San Luis Peak. This is my 29th or 30th 14er, I believe. Ooh, probably the easiest, even though it still wasn't easy. 14ers are never hard for me, but I made it up. Woohoo! All right, time to head back down and get back to my tent and pack up camp. I left everything kind of down there in my collapsed tent and got miles to make today to try to get into Creed.
looking down on San Luis Pass and where we camped last night, there's kind of where the trail comes up. It was right in those three bushes there. So again, right in there. Uh, I can see my tent still flattened. So hopefully everything's waiting for me. Another 20 minutes will be there. It is 7.30 and I just made it back to camp. So it's a two and a half hours round trip. All right, I got to pack up camp. And then I think I have about two to two and a half mile um, walk to where the trailhead is. And then about a three and a half mile total down to Equity Mine. And then hopefully I can bum a ride. If not, it's another eight miles. So it could be a long day. Um, I'm hoping I can catch a ride. Camp is all packed up and I'm ready to get going. I see a couple through hikers here. I also just saw what looked like two groups of uh, people coming up to hike. Uh, San Luis so hopefully I can get a ride maybe I'll go plant some seeds of that right now and see what I can do also want to say I'm really glad that I pushed up here last night I don't know if I would have done this in the morning if I would have made it all the way to the summit or not I'm not sure how strong my resolve was to get up there but it worked out for the best Had just a little soap patch there. Work my way through it. No big deal. Pretty cool little bowl. I just bowl. I just walked through here. Working my way up some switchbacks up to the Continental Divide. And just after that, it's supposed to be the turn off to the trailhead. So, doing okay. Not too bad of you that I made it up to. That'll do. I've been sitting at the intersection to the trailhead for, I don't know, 45 minutes talking to a couple of ladies here. And I'm going to get heading down and see if I can hopefully find some place to stay in the town, get to town. I did run into a couple of hikers who said, if I'm still here when they leave, they'll give me a ride. But that's going to be a while. So I'm going to head on down. I'm almost down to the trailhead parking lot. Hopefully I can get a ride back to here tomorrow rather than just the mine. I don't want to have to hike this this down trail. Uh, trail down to the trailhead has been all down, so that's going to be a mile up. And then it looks oh, like two miles, three miles uh, pretty extreme up from there. Once I get back up to that where I came down from. So now let's keep our fingers crossed. I don't see anybody here getting ready to leave, but um, there's some cars from people that are doing 14 years. Maybe they can pick me up as they head down later. The only cars I've seen move in are like little, uh, those little ATV type things. So that will get a ride on one of those, but who knows. Good evening from the baseball fields of Creed, Colorado. Yep. We are camped out on the baseball diamond tonight, and the big question is, are the sprinklers going off at 5 a.m.? Because there's a rumor that they sometimes do. We're taking a chance and camping here, hoping they're not. And by we, um, I'm hooked up with uh, two girls who started the day after me um, on the trail, Cassie, and I can't remember that girl's name, sorry. Um, but I ran into them um, right at the junction to go down um, off the the uh, Colorado Trail down to the San Luis Trailhead and I took we they decided they were going to come in to, and get a 
break anyways and they're actually gonna get a ride to Lake City but um, I went off about five minutes before them and it was about a mile down the trail which I'm gonna have to redo tomorrow I think I said that and once I got down there nobody was looking like they're leaving so I started heading down the road and was hiking 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 made it to the um, mine where the shuttles would do the pickup and I got past by a bunch of those little side-by-sides coming both directions but nobody stopped and so I kept walking and eventually the girls were probably about 300 yards or so behind me and they decided to stop and they waved down a nice old couple from um, Houston I believe and they got a ride and they said hey can you pick my friend up and they stopped for, to me and the, the little four by four behind them was their son so I jumped in with them and got a cool ride down in those little um, razor oh, four wheel drive kind of things <laughs> it was a lot of fun to get a cool tour of some of the old uh, mines that was really cool once we got into town um, we had lunch at uh, I don't remember where we had it someplace I had a good burger um, which was really good and then we went to San Juan actually went to the post office I mailed home um, my sim shirt and some other my sun gloves and tripod and stuff that I wasn't using then we went to uh, San Juan Outdoors which is an awesome store first of all they have a really good collection of stuff and then secondly they're really hiker friendly he said we got showers we got laundry um, we got charging so we did all of those and we hung out there for three four hours and ended up having dinner with the girls too at another restaurant had a good salad with shrimp which is really good um, and then we went back and I was mostly charged up and while well, I was there the first time before we went to lunch I um Lori from the Creed area with um, the hiker shuttle got a hold of me, dropped my box off, and I set up tomorrow. I'm getting all the way back up to the trailhead, which is nice, and I get to go on one of the side-by-side the -side gators against um, one of her friend's dad, who I think used to be the sheriff. So that's going to be tomorrow morning, uh, not morning, but 11 o'clock. I didn't want to get up too early, um, but I might be getting up at 5 a.m. So it was a good night. Now we're hanging out at the... Uh, ballpark hoping it doesn't rain or doesn't rain doesn't sprinkle on us in the morning and that's the night i got to talk to karen and Cade for a long time we've got a good signal here so i'm gonna go they're gonna pick me up about a block west of the post office i wanted to go there because i knew the post office had some plugs so i could hang out there a little bit and charge um got all my food packages ready and so should be a good time hopefully it's a nice quiet night here and that's life. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Four thirty in the morning, the sprinklers went on. Ugh.